If you've been uploading videos and wondering why they're not hitting those big numbers, you're probably missing out on some key settings. Today, I'm breaking down the exact upload settings, plus a few secret hacks I use to get my videos more views on YouTube and beyond. So let's dive right in. Hey, welcome to Movavi. Name's Arthur, and all together, Movavi channels have racked up over 106 million views. And that's not even counting the hundreds of thousands of views we're getting on other platforms, where our content just keeps growing. It's an awesome result, thanks to the Movavi editing software itself and the smart upload settings our team uses for every video. And every platform has its own quirks, but there are also some universal golden rules that work everywhere. The first step is the title. Titles are crucial across all platforms, but each platform has its own requirements based on the format and goals of the content. For YouTube, titles need to be SEO friendly. Why? YouTube acts as a search engine first and foremost. Your video videos ranking and search results depends heavily on this, so it's important to use keywords that help people find your content. Include precise search phrases or popular keywords related to your topic. This will boost your chances of showing up in search results. Your title should be informative and to the point so YouTube's algorithm and your viewers can immediately grasp the subject. Examples could be like self-development books for 2024, must-reads for success, travel Asia on a budget, tips and hacks 2024 or top 10 new smartphones 2024 best models reviewed. Titles like these grab attention and include keywords or phrases like must reads, top 10, budget travel, for success, and so on. This helps your video rank on YouTube and Google. For platforms like Instagram or TikTok, the focus is all about grabbing attention instantly. Here, titles should be short, emotional, and curiosity driven. People scroll fast, so your title, often visible in the video cover, needs to hook them within seconds. Try asking an intriguing question, making a bold statement, or even adding some emojis to stand out. And if you're posting across multiple platforms, try a cross-platform strategy. One video can have different titles for different audiences. For example, a YouTube title might be how to make a quick vitamin-packed salad with fruits and veggies, while the Instagram Reels version could be ready in five vitamin boost. Bottom line, flexibility is key. Titles need to match the vibe of each platform, grab attention, and stay SEO friendly. Next up, an engaging video description. This part is a hidden gem in your content strategy. It's one of the biggest ways to boost both reach and engagement. And just like with titles, descriptions should be tailored for each platform to really maximize their impact. For YouTube, go all out in your descriptions. Think of this space as both a summary and a search engine magnet. Use relevant keywords that help YouTube's algorithm understand your video and put it in front of the right audience. In those first few lines, drop a call to action, something specific specific that guides viewers to engage, like asking them to comment or subscribe. YouTube allows up to 5,000 characters, so make that space work for you. Add links to any related resources, include timestamps for easy navigation, and keep it clean and skimmable to make sure viewers can find what they are looking for fast. On platforms like TikTok and Instagram, keep descriptions short, punchy, and attention-grabbing. Users here are all about the video itself, so the text needs to add a little punch, maybe an intriguing question, a bit of humor, or a key hashtag or two to boost visibility. The goal, amplify the vibe of the video and make it pop even more in those first few seconds. Don't forget to include a CTA, even in these shorter spaces. Get specific about what you want viewers to do next, whether it's to share, like, or follow. Clear and actionable CTAs work best because people are most likely to act when they know exactly what they're asking for. The first impression is everything, no matter where your video is hosted people are drawn in by the thumbnail. It's honestly one of the biggest factors in whether someone clicks on your content or just skips scrolling. To get it right, I personally create three or four thumbnail variations using Movavi's photo editor. They have a handy unlimited image package that makes experimenting with design super easy. This approach lets me play around with all sorts of elements, color schemes, layouts, text, and visual highlights. For each draft, I mix up the text and images to see which draws attention 
position the best, focusing on emotional appeal and how it stands out against competitors in the feed. For example, one thumbnail might have a super bald, bright look, another might go for a more minimal vibe, and a third could focus on a close-up shot of my face. Then I evaluate which one has the best shot at grabbing my audience's attention, and if the platform allows, definitely use A-B testing on your thumbnails. That way you can figure out which version resonates more with the audience for the specific video. Sometimes even tiny changes like background color or text size can have a big impact on clicks. Not too long ago, I did a deep dive on how to effectively use thumbnail testing to get more views on YouTube, so check that out if you haven't already. Once you've got that killer thumbnail and viewers are clicking in, your job isn't done. You've got to keep them engaged till the end. And that's where a great topic, engaging delivery, and solid editing come in. I've relied on Movavi for years for editing. The interface is super intuitive with all the essential tools. Perfect, even if you're just getting started. Let me tell you about the ultimate creative toolkit from Movavi, Movavi Unlimited. This is basically a power pack of every tool in effect you could want, all rolled into one for the price of just a single program. Here's what you're getting with Movavi Unlimited. AI-powered video editing tools to help you make stunning content with ease, quick photo enhancements using AI, pump up those colors, change backgrounds, remove unwanted objects, you name it. Effortless screen recording for everything from online calls to webinars and tutorials, lightning fast conversion for video, audio, and images, no more waiting around, a massive effects library, over 6,000 effects to add the creative flair all in one click. And the best part, there's an exclusive offer right now. Grab a year of Movavi Unlimited for 80% off. Perfect for getting all the tools you need to make your videos pop. Want to test out the video editing features first? Try Movavi Video Editor. It's ideal for creating eye-catching YouTube videos and social media content. And it's totally free with no trial limit. You will find all the details and a link in the description. Go check it out. Let's talk about hashtags. Are they still worth using or are they just fluff? Answer really depends on the platform and how their algorithms handle them. On YouTube, hashtags have lost most of their power when it comes to ranking videos. So honestly, don't stress about them there. But on TikTok and Instagram, hashtags still matter. Using the right mix can give your content a boost, helping it reach a wider audience and attract the right viewers. So for YouTube, forget hashtags, but for Instagram and TikTok, experiment a bit. Try blending popular hashtags with more niche ones. This way your video has a shot at trending without getting buried in a sea of content. Plus, you will reach different segments of your audience at once. Just remember, keep your hashtags relevant and don't overdo it. Too many can dilute the impact. And before we wrap this up, there is one more setting I wanna share that most creators overlook, which might actually be holding back their video from reaching more viewers. Right, so here's the best approach when it's time to post your video. First up, timing matters. The top days for posting, that's Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. And weekends can work well too, especially for entertainment and educational niches. Now, when it comes to time, evening posts usually perform best around 7 p.m. to 10 p.m. That's the sweet spot for viewer engagement. Why does this timing matter so much? Because algorithms and most platforms are all about instant viewer engagement. They look at how fast people interact with your content. So check your analytics to find the times your viewers are usually online. Maybe it's mornings or midday breaks. Knowing this can get your video more views in those critical first hours, which boosts its chances with the algorithm. One more thing, don't forget about video processing. On YouTube, for example, your video needs to fully process in HD and 4K before you want anyone watching it. This way, you're serving viewers the best quality right from the start. So be patient, let those higher resolutions process, and then hit publish. So if you want your video to start racking up views right after it goes live, make sure you're optimizing the title and description, drafting those clickable thumbnails, using strategic hashtags, and posting at the right times. Stick to these tips, and you will see engagement climb on every platform you're on. And plus, don't miss out on our special deal for Movavi Unlimited. Check out the description for all the cool features packed into this bundle. And yeah, there is an 80% discount waiting for you. That's it for today. Thanks for tuning in and I'll catch you in the next one.